Okay, once you first install the new Edge Chromium, you'll get a window like this when you first open it up. And it's going to walk you through some of the steps that I'm going to cover in more detail today. So to begin with, you can just go ahead and say OK to all of this. Uh, click on Confirm. You go to one more page. And then you can close that. So when it first opens up, you'll see the picture of the day here. And then you'll have the... Uh, search box up here set to Bing. You have frequent sites down here and you may or may not have these entries or other ones. If you scroll down you'll see the news feeds. So let's talk about configuring this. Let's go up to the hamburger menu in the upper right. And there's several options here. One is focused. Nice clean interface, no background image. So one of the other major options, we click on inspirational here, you'll get the full image of the day with the news feeds underneath. Click on informational, it simply shrinks the image to lower so the news feeds appear without having to scroll down. Now besides those options, you can go ahead and do a custom. You can turn things off. Show most visited sites. Are those boxes right there. You just turn those off. Image of the day. You don't even care about your inspirational image. Turn that off. Now feeds you turn to where they're scroll only. They're hidden down below on the page. And you end up with this very clean interface. By the way, going back to inspirational setting, if you look at the lower left hand corner, there's a link to hover over it, it describes the picture of the day and if you click on it it'll go to a Bing search about what the, that particular picture was taken from. Let's say you like some of these features but you want to customize them. So we're going to go, on, go through each of them. First we're going to go look at the uh, frequent sites down below. So if we go down here you'll see that each one of these as you hover over them there's a little checkbox that uh, X that shows up. Simply by clicking on it, it removes them from your frequent site list. Conversely, if you want to add a site after you have all these done, you just simply go here to the plus sign, click there, and you type in a website name. Now I'll, I'll put my site in here, oldguygeek.com. Uh, let's do that. And we'll click on add. And it immediately puts there. Now you'll get a little icon depending upon the site. In this case, uh, you have my site icon here. You click on that. Sure enough, it goes to my site. Now if you scroll down the page, you'll see Microsoft's news feeds from their newsreader uh, app, uh, basically on the same as the website. And there's these different categories and all that. Well, you can personalize this stuff. You can sit there and say, oh, I want these. All you have to do is see that checkbox right there. You just click on that and it unselects it. Uh, and you can scroll down here and you'll see the same ones down in the master list. But you can uh, select the uh, ones you want to do there. To do that, you'll see that they have a plus sign. So let's do one. Uh, over here, I'll do gaming. If I click on that and you watch, it turns to a checkbox, meaning there now it's been added to my feeds. So theoretically, once you do that, uh, you add stock or whatever you want, they'll show up in your feeds, and those are the only articles you'll get. Now, besides that initial welcoming page configuration, there's a whole set of configurations as in the normal place. You go up here, you come down here, and you click on Settings. And you'll see a menu list here. So if we go to on Startup, we can change this to Open the New Tab Page, Continue where you left off, in other words, whatever you had open at the time, or open a certain number of pages. And you can click here, and you can add a page manually. Okay, but like most of us, uh, we can just add new pages by sitting there and going, uh, let me add my site again. Uh, let's go to that. Uh, let's go to another site. Let's go to the Xbox site. Make that tab. Okay. So let's move one more. I'm not a big sports fan, but let's go to ESPN. Um, click on there. And now we have three sites open. So all we have to do then is come back here and click on set to all currently open and boom there they are listed right there so let's go ahead and close the browser and uh, leave the settings open come here and it'll only bring up those sites that were there and sure enough there's that site in the order that they were in the list now to continue configuration we're going to go back over here to settings and we're going to click on that and we're going to actually back up one and we're going to up to appearance. There's a show home button. If you look up here, there's no place to go to the home button. You click it on and there it is, appears right there. And by the way, you can enter for a new tab or enter a URL 
that when you click on that button it goes there and there's zoom and some other things font sizes if you look at this i wouldn't recommend changing any of the fonts or font sizes let the websites uh, dictate all that uh, and don't customize this area the next section we're going to cover is about privacy and clearing data and stuff there's do not track request uh, send data you can turn off all the stuff based on how concerned you are there's also a setting here for windows uh, defender if you have like kids on here you want to make sure this is enabled now the real reason we're here is that if you want to click down here at the bottom you'll find the hidden section where it tells you which search engine you can use and that's where you can switch to google if you don't like bing i like bing uh, but you can if you're a google guy there's the place to go the next section is the set permissions where you can set up cookies javascript flash now these are all the defaults you can override these for individual sites but this is the defaults for the application now one of the last things we want to look at is your downloads you can tell it where to download and you can change that and to prompt you which is what i do to make sure that the download doesn't go to the default location there's other things here languages uh, printing you can click on that to manage your printers uh, but uh, basically the important one that we covered already are the ones you want to really look at so there you have it the uh, how to configure the welcome screen and some other uh, important settings in the new microsoft edge chromium hey, if you found this video helpful don't forget to like this video and if you want to get more just subscribe to old guy geek you can also follow me at facebook or twitter the links to those are in the description of this video